Hi, this is Kayla with App Design Tips, and in this video, I want to walk you through creating icons. Okay, so we have our wireframe somewhat laid out here, and now we're going to begin creating some icons. So we'll start with the hamburger menu right here. If we zoom in, I have a little box placeholder here, but what we want to do is just click on the rectangle tool here and we'll start by just creating a small rectangle here and we'll make this about 36 pixels and just to get that precise I'm just going to type in 36 here and then what we want to do is we want to add a radius of if the height is 6 pixels we're going to do a radius of 3 now one thing to note here is if you choose a radius of say 10 pixels it's going to max out at 3 because we have a 6 pixel height rectangle. But if I resize this now, you can see that the radius uh, stays consistent and grows with it up until it reaches that 10 pixel. And so this makes it really handy sometimes if you want the radius to be responsive. But we're going to go ahead and leave this at 6 here. And then I'm going to remove the border and just leave this at a white fill here. And now all we have to do is hold down Option. We'll drag this down. And so we have six pixels in between. And I'll select all of them and make sure that they're left or center aligned. And so what we have now are three rectangles. If you want to combine this to be one object instead of these three here, you can use this Boolean effect. This is the uh, Add button. So if I click here, what that does is it, it creates uh, one little element. And I can just name this the Menu Icon. And now when I select one of these, it selects the entire thing. Now remember when we create symbols or icons, Adobe XD has non-destructive editing. Meaning if I double click on this Menu Icon, I can still see these three rectangles and I can still adjust these individually and when I click outside of them I still have this menu. So I'm going to undo that and then last thing to note here is we want to create a symbol from this and so now if we go over to our symbols panel we can click add symbol and now we have this symbol added here so I'm just going to remove this square move this 15 pixels and I'll just center this with the nav bar. Okay, a few other icons that we want to create are the search icon and the shopping cart icon. So for the search icon, we're just going to click on this circle here and we'll go ahead and just hold down shift to constrain this and we'll make this uh, 20 pixels here. Now if I hold down command C and then command V to paste, I have this extra circle here and I'm gonna go ahead and make this 16 pixels by 16 pixels and we'll just align these here and I'm thinking I want the border to be a little bit thicker so I'll go ahead and change this I'm gonna lock this constraint and change this to 14 pixels by 14 pixels I'll align it again and now if we hold down option here, we can see that there's a three pixel border around this. So first thing I can do is select both of these circles and I will use the subtract tool. What this is gonna do is subtract any element that's in front from the element in back. So now we have the magnifying glass frame. I'm now going to click R for rectangle and I will draw a rectangle that is about six pixels wide by let's say 10. Now that's too short. We'll do 14 here. Okay, and then we can give this a 2 pixel radius and if we move this over right here we can select these two objects holding down shift and click on this add button here. Now we have this added and I see that the handle is a little bit thick, so the power of non-destructive editing is quite cool. I can still double click on this rectangle. I can choose to change this to, let's say, four pixels here. Now I'll select 
this circle holding down shift and I can still align this here. I let go. You have your magnifying glass. So I'm going to just replace this and we'll add that here. Now the shopping cart is the last icon we want to create. So to do this I'll just use a few rectangles. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this quite a bit larger at first and then we can scale this down. So this is the shopping cart basket. We have the handle down here and we have the bottom frame. I'm just going to draw a rectangle again. If I hit escape here I'm just going to make sure that my height and my width is the same. So this is six pixels. I'm going to make this six pixels here and I'll just bring this up. In fact I'll align this to the bottom here and then clicking on the ellipse tool I can just quickly draw in some wheels here. And lastly we will draw in this handle. So we have the basic components that make up a shopping cart and what I want to do is create a radius effect on this frame here. So if I hold down shift and select each one of these rectangles I can still add a 4 pixel radius here and you see that that creates it along this frame and then when I join this I still retain those radiuses which is really nice. Now what I can do with this rectangle is I can also add maybe a 2 pixel radius here and then if I double click on this rectangle it actually turns into a vector graphic with these nodes. So I can just click on these two nodes here and I'll just hold down shift and with the up arrow keys I can just nudge that up a little bit and we have our shopping cart. So lastly I'm just going to join these shapes. So now this is all one shape. I'm going to select these two and join again and you have one vector graphic here. Pretty cool. I'm going to remove the border, make sure this is completely white and I'm just going to change the width of this here to 30 pixels. I'll remove this guy and just place this right in here. So now we have our icons created. I'm just going to hold down shift, select all of these guys and make sure that they are all center aligned here. And then lastly I want to make sure that these are all symbols as well. That way we can reuse them on other artboards.